Kelly, thank you. And we continue to follow this morning's top story. A suspect is dead and an IMPD officer on administrative leave following another police involved shooting. The first brought to this is breaking news that you're watching last night. Gina Glaros joins us live with any updates that we've learned this morning. Hi, Gina. Hi, good morning to you, Julia and Julia. Now, police tell us this all started as a hostage situation inside a semi cab. Police were called just after 7 o'clock last night to Thompson Road and I-69. The person who called 911 told officers they could hear a woman yelling for help from the semi. When officers knocked on the semi cabin, they say they spotted a man and heard a woman scream. That's when they broke the driver's side window, finding a man and woman in the sleeper pool. Portion. The man reportedly told police he was holding a knife to the woman's throat, threatening to kill her. The woman said she was bleeding, losing consciousness, and the man had some sort of blade. After several minutes of trying to de-escalate the situation, an officer fired a shot and killed the suspect. This is the 17th shooting involving IMPD this year. What happened is going to be with that officer for the rest of their lives. There's nothing you can do about it. I, I think sometimes people believe that that we're robots, that we don't have feelings, or that we're, we're we don't care that much. Uh, they very much they very much care. Now, IMPD says the victim received medical attention for several lacerations last night. Investigators say they found a razor blade with blood on it inside the truck cab. The officer is on administrative leave. That is standard procedure. We are still working to learn the name of the suspect and the relationship between the suspect and that female victim. Now, Julia and Julia, more from police at 630 about the latest officer involved shooting. Thank you, Jenny. It seems like we've covered quite a bit of them. Mm -hmm. This is actually the 17th shooting involving IMPD this year. So we talked to Assistant Chief Chris Bailey about that number. Anytime there's a loss of life in, the, in, in our community, which has happened way too many times uh, uh, over the last several years, uh, it's, it's frustrating for all of us. We never want to uh, put our officers in positions where they have to use deadly force, and we certainly don't want them to ever uh, and they certainly don't leave their houses hoping that that, that happens. Now, as we've mentioned, we have covered a lot of these cases and we do it extensively to bring you answers. We have them all mapped out for you at WTHR.com. That's where you can also find the names of the officers, the people shot and links to all of our past stories.